of the comments that I've had from several people is which is my best printer or my favorite printer and I didn't really know how to answer that because different printers have different capabilities the same as a football team your linemen play an important part as well as your running backs quarterback you know it's a team effort so each one has their own strengths and capabilities same thing with the printers different printers have different advantages over others and you have to kind of weigh those depending on the use of the printer, how you're going to be using them and what you're expecting of them. So what I did, I took my four main printers that I use here at the print farm and also up at my house, I call it the old print farm, which is primarily King Rune KP3 printers and some Monoprice Delta printers. So what I've done, I've taken my four main printers, the ANET, ET4, ET4X, ET4 Pro, the Tronixy XY2 Pro, and the King Rune KP3 printer. And as you can see up here, I have the ANET ET4X, ET4, ET4 Pro, the KP3 King Rune, and the Tronixy XY2 Pro. And I compared them, the average price that I paid for them, and you can see all of those are under $200. And I also compared the build area on them, the bed type, main overall size, the machine size, the touch screen controls, they all have touch screen, the reliability of them, the precision I was getting from them, and the mechanical drive system. So, what I basically came up with was a rating from 1 to 10, with 10 being the best and 1 being the worst. For example, on cost, at $135 for the ET4, I rated it at 8, 145 for the ET4, and 8, 175 for the ET4 Pro, 7. The reason it's lower than these is because it doesn't do that much more for me print-wise to justify the additional 30 or 40 dollars. The King Room KP3, I purchased those average of 130 dollars. That's a 9. For the money, that's been a real good printer. Tronix XY Pros at 189, rated that at 7, for example. And then assembly. The assembly of them is a big thing. The ET4X requires a lot of assembly. I gave it a 7. The ET4 is very easy to assemble. It comes with almost everything put together. And I gave that a 9. The ET4 Pro also, very easy to put together a 9. King Room KP3, very easy. Same thing with the Tronix XY2 Pro. And then build area, a 7 for the ones that are 20 by 20, a 5 for the 180 by 180 because you can't print some of the parts that I need to print on the King Room. However, there's only about 4 or 5% of the parts that I'm printing that will not print on the King Room KP3. So I gave it a little lower rating. Well, the Tronix XY2 Pro has a 255 by 255. I bumped it up to a 9 because it can print a lot larger quantities of parts at a time. Bed type on the ANETs, they're all fixed beds with either glass or the sticker base. The KP3 is a magnetic flexible base. And same thing with the flex sheet on the Tronix CXY2. So I kind of think they all have comparable advantages and disadvantages there. The machine size now, if you notice, I've got a 7 
on all of the A nets because they're all 34 by 44 by 48 centimeters where the king rune only takes 27 by 28 by 37. So I gave it a higher rating because I can get more of those printers in a small area. The Tronix XY2 Pro, of course, it's a little bit lower because it's a much larger and takes up a lot more space. Touch screen controls, basically okay. I didn't rate the King Rune as high because it has a smaller touch screen and the bed kind of interferes with it sometimes. They changed that on the new KP3S and moved it to the side, which is a helpful. And the Tronic CXY2 Pro has a larger screen there. Reliability, I have them all rated about the same, a little bit higher on the King Room. The reason for that is that I do all of my prototyping practically on the King Rooms because I have four of them in my office. And everything I come up with, first thing I do is put it on the King Room and print it there. And the results I get, and I make my adjustments to the part on the King Room. And then I know that when I take that part and put it on a slicer and put it on any of the printers, they're all going to print the same part that I printed on the King Room. So reliability is really good on that King Room. I can, I can rely on it to do my prototyping and also know that once I fine tune that part in the 3D CAD software, that it's going to print just as well on the A-Nets and the Tronixes as it did on the King Room. Uh, precision. Precision's good on all of them. I think the Precision's a little bit better on the King Room because it has such a smaller print area. And the uh, bed itself, the runners and tracks on that are a little bit better. Mechanical drive. They all rate the same except a little higher on the King Room because mainly the um, bed and the carriage assembly on that. Then you look down at the bottom and add all of these up and you see that the ET4X comes in at 66. That's the lowest. And the ANET ET4 Pro comes in next at 67. And the reason that the ET4 is a little bit higher is because of the price up there. I'm getting the same results, but paying a little bit less for it here. So that brought that one up to 68. King Rune came in at 70, where the Tronix XY2 Pro came in at 69. According to this, the King Runes scored the best. Tronix XY2 2 Pro next, and then the ET4. What's my favorite printer? Well, the ET4, because it can print all of the parts that I'm currently making, and it does a good job, it's reliable, everything else. Yeah, it costs a little bit more than what I paid for the KP3s, but now if I go out and buy a new KP3S, I'll be paying more for it than I paid for the a nets and wouldn't be able to justify that and only have a 180 by 180 build plate. I hope that answers the question for some of the people out there that have asked me what my favorite printer is. Favorite one is ET4. The one that I rely on a whole lot, the King Room KP3. It's right there beside me in the office. I have four of them. As I'm designing parts, I'll make some changes to a design, and then I'll take that and go ahead and start printing it on one of the printers. And then I'll continue to make a few more changes. And then by the time that part's finished printing, I'll pull it off and check to see if there's still some problems that I need to correct. And if there are, then I'll make those changes in addition to any other apps I've added to the print file and then I'll start printing again. And So anyway, like I said in the beginning, it depends on what you're using the printers for, what you're expecting out of them, that determines which one 
is going to be best for you and for the job. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.